Thank you, Maria Teresa. It's an honor to receive this award from you. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, over more than 20 years of military dictatorship, Brazilian journalists were systematically censored, persecuted, tortured, and killed. The dictatorship ended in 1985. 34 years later, in comes a democratically elected president, Jair Bolsonaro, who denies that the military rule was a dictatorship. And journalists, once again, are the targets of intimidation and persecution by the government. This time, with the help of social media and digital militias, lawsuits, and virtual lynching. We are living through a new form of censorship and harassment in Brazil, outsourced to armies of patriotic trolls and amplified by bots on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Women journalists are the main victims. Much more frequently than our male colleagues, we have our parents and our children threatened, our parents mocked, our addresses and phone numbers exposed, and we are subject to violent threats, both online and in the real world. I have been a journalist for over 25 years, and I covered conflicts all over the world, in Libya, Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. I never had a bodyguard. Yet, when I was covering the elections last year in my hometown, Sao Paulo, I needed a bodyguard. I was repeatedly threatened while covering disinformation campaigns and the manipulation of elections through social media. Until last year, I had never faced a lawsuit in my life. I was sued by the president, who demanded that I reveal all my sources. I was sued just for doing my job. And I'm still facing a lawsuit from President Bolsonaro's supporters. I am just one among countless women journalists in Brazil who have been targeted. I would like to thank CPJ for this award, and I dedicate it to numerous colleagues in Brazil who have been targeted. Constança Rezende, Miriam Leitão, Marina Dias, Daniela Lima, Talita Fernandes, Juliana Dalpiva, and many, many others. This award helps us show that this kind of intimidation is not acceptable and will not become the new normal, that female journalists will not be stopped, we will continue investigating and doing journalism. Thank you, CPJ. Obrigada a todos vocês.